What's up guys, it is I, RGT85. Hope everyone is having a great Sunday. Yes, I'm technically wearing the same shirt that I wore in my Super Mario Brothers video from yesterday, but I'm filming this at night on Saturday night, so technically it's fine. Plus, you're not here for my wardrobe stuff, you're here for the video title. We're gonna talk about the potential for Grand Theft Auto to finally be coming to the Nintendo Switch, but first I wanna talk about Mario Golf Super Rush and the latest update as I have finally had a chance to play it, and I have a lot of things I wanna say about it. So if this is your first time on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to like and share the video thank you guys so much for 394,000 subscribers we're almost at 400,000 but without any further ado let's talk about what I want to talk about in the world of video games and like I said we're gonna start things off with Mario Golf Super Rush now you might remember a couple weeks ago when this game initially came out I made a video on the game and honestly I wasn't too impressed with the game like yeah there was some fun stuff in it but really to me it just felt like a weird experience where it was like is this supposed to be a simulation golf game is it supposed to be a fun golf game and one of the things that you talk about when you talk about Mario sports games is how they are fun how they're accessible to everyone whereas Mario Golf Super Rush definitely felt more like a simulation style experience than an arcade experience and one thing I definitely was not a fan of was the courses of the games because even the more intricate courses that you unlock later on in the games didn't really have any fun to them didn't really have any sort of weird elements to them that made it feel like a Mario sports game well of course the free update the first of many updates for Mario Golf Super Rush came out and we got a brand new course a brand new character and a brand new game mode now the new character is Toadette which I mean, Toadette should have been available on day one. She's in the game in the freaking adventure mode. Like, this was not a surprise for anyone. You clearly had this character sprite done. Why not just put her in at the game when the game came out? I don't know. It was just absolutely bizarre to me. But yes, Toadette is now in the game. We also have a new ranking mode, which is where you play online. And basically, the better you do, the higher your rank gets. You unlock different things, little emblems and stuff like that when you rank higher when you're playing online. I did try it out. The Nintendo Switch Online service definitely showed some problems problems with this I don't know if someone in the room was just really laggy it wasn't my internet or anything like that but there definitely was some lag with it but I still had fun playing it it was still a fun game mode to be competing against other people and the competition actually matters because the better you do the higher rank you get if you rank if you manage to beat someone who's in the room with you that is a higher ranking character you get more of a bonus for that so I think that's cool you can also unlock different Yoshi color skins by doing well in the game mode for ranking so you know a little bit of an incentive if you want to get some additional colors for Yoshi to play through the ranking mode and there's going to be other things that are added into this as well that you will unlock in the game that will of course give the game some more longevity but what I really want to focus on is new Donk City because holy crap man like this course feels like a Mario Golf course. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the New Donk City level in Super Mario Odyssey. I want a full-on game of New Donk City. But turning it into a golf course kind of sounds weird, but you definitely have that element of fun. You have that element of, yes, this is a silly Mario Golf game. This is a silly Mario sports experience. It's not supposed to be like an NBA game or a Tiger Woods game or something like that. It's supposed to be over the top, and you get that feeling with this course. There are different teams that you can do that really affect the courses as well as far as the longevity of the course and the length of the course you're hitting balls down alleyways you're bouncing balls off of buildings you're going from roof to roof if you're doing it in this rush mode where of course you control the character you're jumping from roof to roof on these little platforms like it just feels like so much fun it really is rejuvenating this game for me and when you look at the new donk city course comparative to the other courses that are in the stock version of the game it's like night and day I I think more courses going forward need to feel like New Donk City. They need to have that level of fun to them. They need to have that sort of level of just surprise and that element of surprise to them because I think it makes for a much better overall experience when playing Mario Golf Super Rush. If this course was included on day one in the version of the game, I definitely would have enjoyed this game a lot more. And sure, it's only one course, but I think it's definitely a sign of things to come. So now Mario Golf Super Rush is a much more enjoyable experience for me. You could always sit here and question you know why did Nintendo not include this on day one and what sort of updates are going to come into the future because obviously this is a Mario Tennis Aces situation where they really held back content for this game and they're going to sort of sprinkle it out to increase the longevity and the life cycle of this game but I'm definitely very impressed with the new Donk City course like I said this is a free update so if you have a copy of Mario Golf Super Rush make sure you guys go ahead and download it I plan on streaming it on Thursday night but Nintendo being Nintendo didn't release this until like 11 p.m. Eastern time 
time and I was just like whatever dude I'm in bed but I will be playing it in the future on the channel so make sure you guys look out for that on RGT live but yeah definitely a welcome addition to Mario Golf Super Rush and something I hope continues to go forward in the future with this game. But the real reason I feel that you are probably here has to do with the potential of Grand Theft Auto finally coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, when we talk about Grand Theft Auto, we of course have to talk about Grand Theft Auto 5. This game originally released in 2013, eight years ago, and there's no sign of Grand Theft Auto 6 on the horizon. Instead, it was released on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, and then re-released on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, and now being re-released again for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series x so it's like why why the hell is rockstar doing this well it has to really go boils down to the fact that people are still buying this game people are still playing this game and the grand theft auto series is a great series don't get me wrong but when you think about how many games came out on the playstation 2 within the grand theft auto universe and really they were pretty different from one another and then looking at what grand theft auto has become it definitely is a shame but when you talk about grand theft auto you of course have to talk about why the hell is this game not on the nintendo switch this game ran on the xbox 360 this game ran on the PlayStation 3. The Nintendo Switch is more strong than those systems that can clearly handle a game like this. But like I said, I think that there is a potential for Grand Theft Auto to finally be coming to the Nintendo Switch, whether it's Grand Theft Auto 5 or maybe a previous Grand Theft Auto game. And really, this information is coming to us from Take Two themselves. Now, they had their quarterly evaluation, their little business meeting talking about different things. And one of the slides on here was very interesting. So looking at this slide together, you can see the following stuff. The pipeline details as of May 18th, 2021. For the immersive core within the fiscal year of 2022, you have four games, NBA 2K 2022, WWE 2K 2022, Tina's, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and one unannounced 2K game. From the independent side of things, you have Ali Ali World. For the mobile side of things, who cares? There's 10 free to play games as of yet unannounced. But here's where things get very interesting to me. The new iteration of previously released titles. Now we have six games coming. We have Grand Theft Auto 5, expanded and enhanced for generation 9 consoles which of course is the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X version we have Grand Theft Auto online a standalone version coming to us from Rockstar games as well and we have Kerbal Space Program for generation 9 consoles but there are also three unannounced games to be questioned as well now, yes, these could potentially be anything, but I really feel like a Grand Theft Auto is indeed coming to the Nintendo Switch. Look at the market leader right now for consoles. If you want to say that this Nintendo Switch is a Generation 9 console, you could say that. You can make that argument. I don't get into the whole Generations thing. The fact of the matter is, the Nintendo Switch has sold 90 million plus units, and Rockstar is not a stupid company. Take-Two is not a stupid company. Take-Two obviously tries to put games on the Nintendo Switch. We have seen games like L.A. Noir come to the Nintendo Switch. We have seen the NBA 2K series come to the system as well. Grand Theft Auto would be a perfect fit. And you might be saying to yourself, well, would they really want to release this around the time that they released a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series X version? I mean, why not? The Nintendo Switch is intended for a different audience, an audience that just doesn't care necessarily about high-end graphics. I mean, some of us do. Some of us want, you know, a more proper Nintendo Switch system on the home console side of things. But the portability aspect of the Nintendo Switch is the big winner in a lot of people's opinions. Having a portable version of Grand Theft Auto like we used to have on the Nintendo DS, the PSP as well, would be an awesome thing for the Nintendo Switch. Of course, you have the Nintendo Switch system itself with gyroscope potential with the game. You also have the Joy-Cons that have motion controls. You have a touch screen as well. There's a lot of cool things you could do for an immersive Grand Theft Auto experience. And with three unannounced titles coming in the fiscal year of 2022 for Rockstar that are being made that are games from their back catalog of games i definitely think a grand theft auto is a game that makes sense there's been lots of rumors about grand theft auto 3 and grand theft auto vice city and san andreas potentially getting upscaled and released on current consoles even if you just did that even if you just took that trilogy of games and put them on the nintendo switch like they are on mobile phones i think people would pick that up it would be great to revisit san andreas san andreas is like the best grand theft auto in my opinion like i love the story of that game the setting of that game the whole gang system you had in there as well it was a lot of fun. 
I definitely might be looking too far into this. I definitely may be off my rocker, and this may be a tinfoil hat thing, but I think one of these three games is a Nintendo Switch game. I think one of these three games is a Grand Theft Auto game, and I do believe that Grand Theft Auto, in some way, shape, or form, is going to come to the Nintendo Switch. But I guess there is the off chance that I'm just completely wrong with this, and I'm setting myself up for disappointment, but hey, I like to be a bit optimistic with this. I think Take-Two and Rockstar are smart companies, and they want to put popular games on the Nintendo Switch because, I mean, don't, don't you like money? I feel like you like money. All right, so those are a couple things I wanted to talk about today on the channel. Let me know what you think of everything in the comment section down below. Do you believe that one of these unannounced games is a Grand Theft Auto game coming to the Nintendo Switch? Or do you think it'll just be games for other platforms? But I mean, if you're re-releasing, you know, classic games and things of that nature, I really feel like, I don't know, I just explained it pretty well to you guys. And the Mario Golf Super Rush thing. Are you enjoying that game? Do you now have the downloadable content that we got? And what do you think about the new Donk City course? And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to like and share the video as well make sure you check out yesterday's video where i get into water grading and all that stuff because i'm probably sure i made some people mad with that especially within the grading community but you know what i don't give a shit i, I really don't give a shit and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later